Well, just before the gremlins attacked us, I did hear some baboons calling, and I thought that they maybe had seen Tumba. Now, they could have still, because they were in the area where Tumba was last seen, but that's not the surprise that we've got to show you this afternoon. So let's take a look towards Twin Dams, and look who's laying. So there's, there's lots of vehicles in the sighting with us. It's just there. You should see him quite easily. No long grass anymore, which is another surprise. I actually cannot believe it, how the vegetation has changed. Now, he hasn't lifted his head just yet. It's quite difficult to say, but it looks like he's got that sw sort of swollen face. That's quite typical with him for more. And also his mane doesn't seem to be very dark. Now, we know Tinyo has got quite a dark mane, and so does Nsuku and Nena. So I wonder if it isn't. Umfumo. The last time I saw him, he was battered up and bruised. So it's quite difficult to tell from this angle. But you're welcome to help me out. You're, more than, you're all so great, of course, at identifying uh, the cats. You can hashtag Safari Live with who you think it may be. But very windy, you can see. And as Tristan says, this wind is definitely going to have an effect on the animal's behavior. But it should work in the favor of the predators today. So hopefully even though it is quite warm we might see some action maybe they'll get up and on the move all the herbivores and things are going to be hiding away they would they won't be out in the open they'll be hanging around on the drainage lines not just for food again but for shelter and i think that the mulwati would be a very very good place for the various predators to hunt today and around his chest and that's an area that we can't see at the moment but look at that beautiful tawny color ah <laughs> cool, thanks Chantal. Are we live again? Are we still live? Okay, sorry about that everybody. It seems as though uh, what's happening today is... Uh, it is gremlins, however, I'm not surprised as to the gremlins uh, that are attacking us. It's the wind gremlins. So you get different subspecies of gremlins out here. Sometimes they rain gremlins, but the wind gremlins are particularly the worst ones. So I do apologize. Um, it might happen throughout the day. Hopefully uh, the wind has been blowing for most of the day, so it should start to die out. But there is a big cold front that has hit South Africa at the moment. And I think we're gonna feel the sort of force of it by tomorrow. There's already an icy feeling in the wind. Yesterday was a hot berg wind. And, and now it's starting to change. So I think it's going to be exceptionally cold tomorrow morning. Uh, my mom said that at about 9, 10 o'clock today, it was about 7 degrees. Uh, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but that's really, really cold. It was so late in the morning. Uh, Tristan and I and Senzo and Seb might have to get uh, all wrapped up. That's actually quite funny. I've just realized that both of us now, we, we're the TS, the, the TS or the ST team. Both of us. <laughs> it was quite cool. No more trailer. We're changing our names. Um, Chantal, has there been any confirmation as to if this is informal? I know it's a very difficult angle um, for us to, of course, identify 100%. Okay. So you can help me guess. But he's probably going to relax. I, he was obviously wasn't here this morning. So he's been moving around throughout the day. Or maybe just after game drive. Or perhaps he was just laying in the shade of a tree somewhere and uh, decided to come down for a drink. And the spot that he's laying is actually quite a nice area. He's sort of sheltered. Well, his wind is, the, his mane is blowing quite a, quite a bit. But I think it's a fairly good spot laying quite low to the ground. I'm trying to think, I probably would have chosen a better spot to lay though. <laughs> Snazzy, she's, you said something about him being a strawberry blonde. Well, perhaps he is the ginger of the lions if it is informal. Like I said, I, he never has sort of... Sh I don't know what I'm trying to say. And blah, 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 blah. The wind is also taking my words away. But I don't think he's going to have a particularly dark mane like uh, the rest of the coalition members uh, have. But again, it could be just because he's quite young and sometimes it takes a little bit longer. You know, it's like with us as humans. We don't all mature at this exact same age, and the same thing goes for lions. You might find that some mature quicker than others. Maybe some of their manes take a little bit longer to grow too. Remember, the form was quite big in, in body size. If it is him, I could be completely mistaken. So we shall just refer to him as one of the Birmingham boys <laughs> until we can figure out who he is. It'd be quite nice if he does sit up. 
Craig, you say that it's Mufasa. Well, I wish. You know, then we need a deep. We need. Um, we need a deep voice. What does What does Mufasa say? Come on, Senzo, give us a line. The line. Okay, Senzo can't think of a Mufasa line, and neither can I. But if if Chantel Alice think of one, they can tell me, and then I'll try and do it. And, and isn't wasn't it Earl James Jones that was the voice of uh, Mufasa? Oh my gosh, Chantal, you're fantastic. Everything the light touches is our kingdom, Simba. <laughs> there we go. Right, for those of you who have only just joined us for the first time, I'm a, I'm a little bit silly, so you're going to have to put up with me, I'm afraid. You just told me to be quiet, and I promise I'll be quiet. Oh, come on, Lion, this is perfect hunting condition. I saw some zebras not too far away from here that I think you would find particularly tasty. Uh, I think that's probably the way that he's going to go. And the wind is blowing southeastly today, uh, so that's quite nice. So essentially, he's directly downwind from all those warthogs, from those zebra. I'm sure there'll be kudu moving in and out of the thickets too, and that's going to be great for him. So once he decides to wake up, hopefully he'll go in a northerly direction from where he is now, and uh, not particularly far. I reckon as the crow flies and, and the route that a lion would walk, unless he was marking his territory, then they seem to stick along the roads. There's certain spots that they like to mark. He'll probably get there within five minutes. It's only a couple of hundred meters away. I mean, it, it took us fairly quickly to get here, and I promise I was not on a Ferrari safari either. We were in the area searching for Tumba, so we were bound to bump into him at, at some point. But big paws, powerful legs, a belly that doesn't seem to be too empty. Nsuku, okay. Oh, okay, so Tristan and, and a lot of you are saying it's Nsuku. Okay, that's quite interesting. I haven't seen Nsuku for months. I'm trying to, I can't actually even recall the last sighting that I have or had of Nsuku or even of Anena. I've only been seeing Tinyo and Mfumo for the last couple of months or so. Had some great sightings with him, so it's quite interesting. I thought his mane was a lot darker, but perhaps it's like I said, maybe it's his chest uh, that's quite dark and I just can't see it because, um, well, he's laying down. It's about half of their face on the floor. But we'll, of course, confirm it when he stands up. And if it is Nsuku, uh, Nsuku, sorry, we'll see his beautiful golden eyes. And also, he's, he seems to be the, the most mature. He's actually got a couple of scratches on him. Now, out of them all, Nsuku seemed to be the lion that had uh, the, well, the least scratches on his face. Um, Nena has, of course, the equal sign on his nose. And then, well, Tinyo and Informa just take the cake when it comes to being battered and bruised, sort of what we typically think male lions should look like. So he's obviously been scrapping. But those little cuts that you can see in his face, that could come from a female, you know, getting too excited and, they, and, and the female saying, just back off, a, a swipe to the face. The well, same thing goes, a, ba a, a sort of an altercation around a carcass with one of his coalition members could sort of cause exactly the same. But nothing too serious, just little, little scratches, and they heal fairly, fairly quickly. He does have a big mane, though. I reckon if I was a lion, I'd probably be in Suku with my mane, too. He's a lovely boy. Now I know, I wonder where the rest of the Birminghams are. Tristan said something about them being to, closer towards Biffle's boundary. And he said that he's seen three out of the four Birminghams. I didn't unfortunately get to chat to Tristan for a long time before we went on drive this afternoon. We obviously do a lot of the catching up tonight around dinner. And I'll find out exactly what the animals have been up to. And, and this is the hardest part is when you go away, obviously I try and follow and uh, you know everyone's i read all your tweets and i check the screenshots to see what has been happening on drive very difficult of course though to to try and uh, pick up once you get back to work so it might take me a couple of days to remember exactly what goes on here now remember this is live and this is interactive and we'd love to hear from you both myself and tristan so you can hashtag safari live with on twitter with any questions that you have it doesn't necessarily have to be about lunch perhaps you want to know a little bit more about the weather maybe maybe we'll do a test on how how fast the wind is blowing today with leaves 
no, I don't know, that's ridiculous, we won't be doing that. But it's also good to see that the watering holes have got a fair amount of water in. Well, this is the first one I've actually seen, so I suppose that's not an accurate description, because it does look like Vuyatela Dam, or Gari Dam, is drying up quite a bit, but Twin Dams is holding water quite a bit, which is good. Now, Roshni, you're wondering if I'd want this line to be Nena. Well, I have to be honest, Roshni, Nena is my, Nena is my favorite line of the Birminghams. We shouldn't have favorites, but of course we all do. We all get these special bonds with these amazing creatures uh, that we're fortunate to see every single day. Well, in the lion's case, they've only really just come back in the last couple of weeks. That's all right, better late than never. And I, I, I quite like him. I haven't spent a lot of time with Nsuko. And Nsuko, why are I on the same Nsuko like with an O at the end? It's not. It's N. And then it ends with a U, not an, an O. Sorry about that. Even Apparently, even I've forgotten how to speak the local language. But, uh, I, yeah, I need to get to know this boy. I have seen him only about two or three times. And once he was fast asleep, I remember, on, uh, just close to Vuyatela. And the other two times were quite sort of brief sightings of him. So it'll be good to get to know his personality. Now, it does sound silly when I say, oh, how can a lion have a personality? But they do, just like you and I do. Every single animal out here is an individual, and some are more tolerant than others. We like we see it with them more, and Tenyo, they seem to be the fighters. They are constantly scrapping with one another, and, well, the lionesses. We see that quite, we've seen it actually many, many different times, especially last year, and hopefully we'll start to see those types of sightings again. We're still waiting for the buffalo to come back. There's now almost no grass left in the open areas, so I don't really know what is going on with the buffalo. They were due back quite some time ago. They're exceptionally late, and I suppose that they're going to find themselves in quite a bit of trouble when they come back in the terms of not from Tristan and I, but in, um, of course, from the lions that are on the property at the moment. Now, I believe there's quite a few of you that are concerned about this lion's uh, health. Uh, I can promise you right now, you don't have to worry about him. Uh, if anything, lions are extremely resilient. They're so tough. They really tackle anything that comes their way with all four paws and claws out. Uh, so don't worry about him. This is typical behavior of not just a male lion, but all lions. It's very important for predators to conserve energy. Now, they don't want to spend their time running around and playing and chasing after antelope all day long because when it comes down to potentially making a successful hunt if they've exhausted all their energy well that's no good now is it so they can sleep for up to 18 20 hours a day and that's typically what they will do especially after they have just made a kill they're exhausted once they've brought an animal down they've also gorged themselves full of food uh, so they need to catch their breath so they they will relax and you might find because it's cooling down so quickly he's actually enjoying the warmth of the sun that's why he's laying out in the open like this and it's, uh, ooh, that's <laughs> It sounded like we had a squeaky door. <laughs> it was just the, the bowl of the camera. But um, it's, of course, it's very important for these cats to rest like this. He wouldn't be laying out in the sun if he was if he was hot. Like I said, I've, I mean, I've started the drive off with uh, my little, my puffer jacket. And most days, I'm, I wear long sleeves all the time, so I'm normally a little bit warmer than the other presenters. It's, it's nippy. Senzel's got his windbreaker on already. There's definitely a bit of ice in the air. I know there's lots of snow on the Lesotho Mountains. So that could also be coming off like that. And he's enjoying this. It's basically uh, the morning 10 o'clock sun, you know, that we all want to f fall asleep in. It's exactly what he's doing. So he'll probably be having a quick cat nap and, well, maybe he'll go and have a drink. Probably not. They don't need to drink all the time. And off he'll go probably on a territorial patrol or perhaps looking for something to eat. Now, I heard sort of whispers in the wind, well, actually not whispers, howls in the wind because it's so windy today, that Tristan was in the Mulwati. Perhaps he's looking for the sticks or maybe Tumba. Let's go across and find out.